Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 954 of One Piece today and I'm extremely curious about uh, this guy who's been taking um, all of these uh, weapons including uh, Zoro's uh, sword um, because um, it looks like um, he's actually attached to Kawamatsu in some way so he was um, really glad to see him uh, alive so I'm guessing that uh, uh, they are really close um, to each other probably a story from uh, uh, before um, and uh, I've been uh, thinking about this uh, as well I don't know if um, I, I'm not too sure about this there's those uh, uh, nine uh, uh, samurais really close um, uh, to Odin um, but uh, I don't think they introduced uh, all of them yet right I think there's um, still at least uh, one of them that um, they haven't uh, shown so maybe it could uh, even be this guy that's at least uh, uh, one of my guesses um, but yeah either way this has been a really interesting uh, situation and I wonder um, what exactly is um, going to happen since uh, that guy just uh, uh, got uh, shot and now he's uh, trying to run but I don't think he's going um, like that far with uh, that injury um, but yeah either way there was also uh, other great things happening so Luffy is starting um, this training and Yogoro pretty much being um, like playing the same role as Rayleigh uh, played before so helping Luffy um, learn some new things and uh, become uh, stronger so that's definitely going to be helpful um, to go against um, Kaido of course um, and tal uh, talking about uh, Kaido is actually going against uh, Big Mom right now so that's also a really crazy situation and I don't know how that's um, going to end but I'm assuming that uh, it's going to stop eventually I don't think uh, they're going to like defeat each other but I mean I can't be too certain about uh, these things sometimes uh, this just um, like this story just surprises me uh, a lot um, but yeah, I just really can't wait to see what exactly is going to happen. So, hope you guys are ready, and let's start the episode. Hey, this move though. Like, he definitely knows him, but... Kawamatsu didn't say anything, so I don't know if he just didn't recognize him. Just like with Yori, he didn't recognize her like, either. It's been a really long time, so... It's not unusual. People change, especially the appearance. What is he? Is that... Is that where he lives or something? Same. Oh, there's more coming. Damn, he's good. Oh. 
Oh, that's so sweet. I was actually looking at it and wondering if he was going to wipe it. <laughs> hmm. Well, <laughs> man, that's so nice. Seeing them together again makes me really happy. He's one of the guys who showed up before, right? Those Yakuza bosses. I'm not too sure if it's the same one. Oh. Damn. Hey, that explains more about these great swords, the meaning behind it. Oh, damn, he was... And he was ready to just... Oh, that's the fox. And it's quite sad how he was about to do this. Oh, but it's like full of arrows. I guess it's just um, a different person, right? Yeah, the Daimyo has nothing to do with the Yakuza bosses or anything. Yeah. And this is good though. Not good to see the fox like this, but that Kawamatsu was saved because of this situation. It's like this gave him a reason to stay alive. Apparently not. Oh, and oh, that guy already died, okay. Still trying to understand everything.
Oh, no, he's. <laughs> he actually likes it. I wonder where this fox is right now. This this was 13 years ago, right? I don't remember seeing this fox at least. Oh, he's getting the... Hmm... Oh, damn! Wait, this was 20 years ago. Oh, so that was seven years ago. This was seven years ago. I mean, not seven years ago. Okay, I'm really dumb. It was 13 years ago. This was seven years after what happened at the castle. Dates messing with my brain. Wait. Too sure. I mean, something just crossed my mind. I don't know if even the marks. Would this fox be that guy somehow? It's like the same attitude. Not letting anyone take those words. Damn. He's been through a lot. Pretty much everyone who stayed here for those 20 years. It's been hell. I 
he understands. Yeah, it's like... Oh, he's helping him. Hmm. And this is becoming really interesting. So wait, these swords need to be somewhere. Wait, don't tell me it's that place! Where the guy was hiding after he was running away from Zoro. Too sure, just like thinking about... I mean, it still doesn't explain. It's still a fox, and now we see a human, so I don't know if that's actually it, if something happened. To make the fox turn into a human. Hmm. Damn. I feel like I have seen this guy before. Is a similar one? It reminds me of that uh, that guy who was giving everything to Yori. It's just like this, like the other guy also stays at this bridge, protecting this place. It would make sense, right? I mean, he was eventually caught and sent to Udon. Damn, this was probably it. Damn, it's crazy how this is how we went to this place. Oh, and that's exactly... Okay, I'm understanding this now. It's exactly the one he's been looking for when he said it before. I thought he was looking for a Yori, but it was actually this fox. I just like when things start making sense. I, I'm almost sure this guy is the fox somehow. They're heavily implying that. 
Yeah, and there's probably all of those. There they are. The weapons they need, even. And they <laughs> and they show Kinemon, who's looking for the weapons. They have a lot there. These. This pretty much solves it. Not those, though. Man, this is so awesome. Exactly my point. You see those marks on his face? Just like the fox. But how though? So the fox can just... Transform into... Oh. A replacement? Odin himself? Inma? Oh, damn! I mean, he's really excited about it. I mean, with reason. Damn, this is big. And this episode was something. Just like how they explained this whole situation with um, like involving this guy. I need to memorize uh, his name. I really need to um, to see the name again. I need to memorize it. Really hard to to find something when you want. Onimaru, that's the name. I'm glad I finally found it. Sorry for <laughs> delaying this. Um, but yeah, it's like um, these fox. I'm not too sure about um, everything um, about how everything works. Uh, but it's like this fox had the ability to become a human somehow. So, I don't know if um, it was always someone with um, a Zoan-type devil fruit, like a fox-fox devil fruit or something. I mean, it could be, but I'm not too sure if this is actually it. Maybe it's something completely different. Um, but either way, this um, like pretty much clears up uh, everything. Like, uh, why Onimaru was... Uh, Always at this bridge, uh, pretty much getting, uh, or like, it's not like, uh, it's something I don't know. Maybe he was doing a bit of both. He was stealing the weapons of um, whoever went uh, uh, to that place, whoever tried to cross that bridge. Um, but I believe the main reason was protecting uh, that place, to not allow anyone to um, go past uh, that bridge. So, it's like, um, after, um, uh, after... Kawamatsu got arrested and was taken to uh, Udon. Onimaru just uh, stayed here and kept um, like doing it for 13 years. So, man, that's really incredible. And I'm also glad to see that um, 
the fox is still alive, so hopefully at some point uh, they will meet um, again, because it looks like um, Onimaru doesn't want to see um, Kawamatsu for now, maybe... I don't know, I don't know what the reason could be, like, probably some emotional side, um, but yeah, it's, um, it's beautiful to see all of these um, pretty much um, explained, so really enjoyed um, this story between um, the two of them, and now Zoro has, uh, I mean, a really big deal, like, it's like, like, they really, man, I don't know how to say this, but it's like, they really want that sword to stay here at the land of Wano just because of how important it is. And it's uh, understandable, of course, even if uh, Zoro has been, uh, like, has, beca uh, has become uh, used um, to using that sword. Um, but uh, is getting, uh, I don't know if I should say a better one, but um, a really good sword um, in, a in exchange. So uh, it's... I mean, it's a deal that he should take, and we can see by his face that he is really excited about this, so he's probably um, going to take it. Um, and uh, it's also crazy to see that, I'm not too sure if this was mentioned before or not, but um, this sword, Enma, was uh, the only one that was um, able to cut Kaido so far. So this uh, says a lot about um, the sword, and also considering how... how Kaito's body is so, uh, like, sturdy, like, it's pretty hard to even, um, like, deal damage to him. So, yeah, this is definitely interesting. I mean, things have been uh, really exciting so far. There's been a lot of uh, uh, things being um, explained and some uh, really good things happening um, as well. Um, and uh, I love how this situation, like, pretty much um, solves uh, a lot of problems. So... We saw how Kinemon and the others, they, they had to find some uh, weapons because the, the like, factories and stuff uh, at um, uh, Udon, I believe, um, they didn't really have this type of uh, weapons, only, like, uh, I don't remember the, the actual name, but uh, pretty much um, just big uh, machines and stuff. I can't remember how exactly they mentioned it, but it wasn't uh, swords, that's pretty much it. Um, and yeah, now this uh, solves it, so they have a lot of weapons uh, here, and uh, weapons that uh, they have been, um, like, Kawamatsu and um, Onimaru, they have been collecting it, uh, or like collecting them, um, for certain, um, not for certain years, for those seven years, I guess, and then uh, Onimaru kept doing it after... Um, after that, for 13 years, after uh, uh, Kawamatsu got uh, arrested. So yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a really beautiful story, and uh, I just uh, really can't wait to um, see more um, of this. So, just hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also jam my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.